We have finally made it here to West Glacier RV Park. It's a pretty new RV park. It's not on some of the maps yet. But as you can see, it is pretty full. We got some good spots though. And uh, park entrance is right over this way. And we have, uh, I forget what it's called, mountain right there. So we are gonna go into the park tomorrow, get on the shuttle, do some hikes. Here we go. West Glacier Campground over to the Apgar Visitor Center at Lake McDonald. We are going to get on the shuttle there that's going to take us up going to the Sun Road up to Logan Pass. We're going to get off at Logan Pass and do a little bit of hiking and should be fun. Pass, but we had to stop here and change shuttles so we've been waiting here for a while but as soon as the next shuttle comes we will show you the shirts Front. Logan Pass. We are going on the hike up to the Hidden Lake Overlook. I think it's about a mile and a half, mile point three, something like that. But we will get up there. We are about halfway up the trail here. Logan Pass. And you guys are coming? Uh, yeah. You're almost there. Wave. But well, we're going on the snow. We have made it about, I'd say, over halfway up. We're out a little meadow here. We're going up to this little pass right here, which is Hidden Lake Overlook. Up there is Mount Clement. And what's over here? Uh, Mount Reynolds? I think. To Hidden Lake Overlook. We are going to take a little hike down farther a little bit towards Hidden Lake. That's right. And this really looks like Mount Timpanogos. Kind of the terrain and the rocks and the flowers well, and stuff. You can, you can what, see a video of that over here. Somewhere. What you're saying is I don't actually have to hike Timpanogos now because I've pretty much done it. You do. You do. I, you just said it's pretty cool. Came from all the way up there, ran down here. We are almost at the bottom, Hidden Lake. We made it down here to Hidden Lake. Some of the boys decided they wanted to swim in it. Apparently it's a little bit cold. That's what usually happens with glacial runoff lakes. So we'll see how long it takes them to warm up. Ooh. 
How did you do that? Um, I was hiking and we're going downhill and so my foot just like slipped on the loose rocks. That rock jumped out at you too? Yeah. Wow. Like Probably the same one that jumped out at Tarlin. Okay, we are now leaving Hidden Lake and we've got quite a hike back up. I think it's about 800 feet elevation. This hike back up from Hidden Lake is uh, pretty tough. Obnoxious. Kind of steep. Hopefully we are past the steepest part now and we're on to all this. We have to go all the way over to there. Uh, onward. About 35 minutes later, we made it up, back up to uh, Hidden Lake's Overlook from Hidden Lake. So now we are headed back down to Logan Pass in the visitor center. It's about a mile and a half back. So we'll see you down there. We made it back down to Logan Pass Visitor Center from the lake. It took us one hour from Hidden Lake. So that was pretty good. 25 minutes from uh, the lookout over there. So we are gonna go head back over here. Get something from the gift shop. Find something from the gift shop, use the restroom, find the rest of our group. Get on these shuttles and head back down. It is really early in the morning and I think we are going to go to the top of going to the Sun Road, which is Logan Pass, and get dropped off with our bicycles and ride down. So I'm gonna have a nap on the way up, so we will catch you at the top. Okay, my nap is over. We made it to Logan Pass and we are gonna unhook the bikes and coast down. Here we go, there's Brad. I'm gonna die. I'm nervous. You don't have to we are making excellent progress. We've been about a half a mile and we are stopping for a break. We are currently biking down, going to the Sun Road. So I guess we are going away from the sun on the road now. brakes out because I thought we knew that we were riding our brakes the whole way down. That's how, are they glowing red yet? Oof! That <laughs> really is hot! A little warm! <laughs> yeah, a little warm! Brad's gonna get nervous now. Well, we are part way down and it's been a good ride so far. Still got many miles to go, but it's just coasting. Eight miles of a little bit downhill and flat pedaling to do. But we're getting there. We made it. We've got our 
ride waiting for us here at Lake McDonald Lodge. We just got to find them. Tell us about your experience coming down. Speed limit. We were driving in the car down the hill the speed limit and people were passing us and I thought the bikers were going to be dead by the ex end of this experience. <laughs> that was a lot less downhill than I expected. But the first, the first 10 miles was downhill and then... And then the next 10 were not. this bridge but I had to scoot across this a little bit scary it's about a I'd say 30 foot drop might be a little bit precarious because I have to go across this ledge right here <sighs> guess I gotta do it We are now packing up, leaving Glacier National Park, West Glacier RV Park here, and headed back to Bozeman for a night and then on to Jackson. Well, anyway, that's all. Cut to some drone shots for the end, bye. I made myself a nice chin rest in the rocks here. It's quite comfortable. 